So hello, it's Flayer here and I want to talk about uh, summoners for, for our new players or somebody who's maybe thinking about to start the game with the friends or something like that. And this is basically what I did achieve in one year. As you can see, my account was started a year ago, 11th of July. So that's uh, pretty much one year and one day ago and uh, let's see what did I achieve in that time and we can see here that I was able to beat the DOA normal and hard and I believe I got a little bit lucky in the beginning because I did open a Verat like in uh, five months of playing and with the Verat, I was able to beat the DOH hard uh, in December or something like that. So I have been able to do it for last five or six months now. And uh, we can see that our guild has been in Guardian 1. And uh, I have not achieved that Guardian rank yet in arena or world arena uh, but I'm going to be there someday hopefully <laughs> I hope so and I have been able to beat all the reef rates with at least rank S so that's done and my giant team is under one minute and my dragon team is a little bit over a minute uh, actually the giant team is a uh, perfectly safe it will never fail and always runs something around one minute and also my necro team runs like two minutes or under and it never fails but if i want to play the dragon team that hits the one minute 20 second mark it's not safe yet um, i can do a safe dragon team with like a two minute time or something like that but this record time is not not the safe one and here we can see the teams I did use for these times and pretty much the giant and necropolis team are the ones I run usually and they are as I said perfectly fine never fail but the dragon team is not the one that you can see here and here are some rift teams I'm not planning to play light or dark rift uh, for fun. <laughs> I just uh, I might grind materials for uh, dark homunculus or light homunculus one day. But other than that, I I only do rift beasts for the reroll stone and no other reason. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have achieved from the profile and we can check out what did I open in, in one year and I believe I, I, I have something like 65 to 76 star monsters and something around over 10 nat 5s no LD nat 5 only like 4 LD lightnings in whole year uh, I haven't spent like crazy. I have spent some euros. I did buy the December's Transcendent Scroll and did get Sandra out of it. But I, I, I haven't spent like thousands of euros to the game. Only only some hundreds, I, I believe. So not, not the crazy big spender. So what do I have? If, if you think about that fives that are not fusible, I have Samad. Uh, I have actually two Verats. I, I just recently pulled my second Verat, and it's my only dupe Nat 5 I have so far. And yeah, Sandra was from Transcendent Scroll. So basically, from normal summonings, water ones are Samad and two Verats. That's pretty, pretty bit ugly because <laughs> I really didn't want dupe Verat at this point. But what can you do? Um, moving on to fire ones, I, I, I only have Helena.
but I kind of like Helena, even that many people dislikes it. And of course, I have all the efforts. Uh, that's pretty much basic stuff. Um, and yeah, I did build wind homunculus. And uh, yeah, moving on to wind, I have Feng Yang, which is really nice. I I have uh, Eladriel, also nice. I have Charlotte, uh, Ritesh, which I'm planning to build someday. I, I haven't used any Devil Mons to Ritesh yet. And I have Louise. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, not fives that I have summoned. And the rest are fusible or ifrits. And if we look at the LD ones, I have halfas. It's actually now built as a damage dealer, not the typical half, so don't mind the runes, I just did it last swap. I have played it until this day uh, as a basic zero speed, high HP, life leeching half, but I wanted to try a uh, damage one. And uh, Figaro, mm, Seek, and I should have... Gemini, yeah, there, Gemini. So these are the ones I have summoned from LD Scrolls. Others are from from Ho and Dungeons. And um, yeah. So as you can see, I have pretty nice pool of net fours. That's not big of a deal. I have like something like. Uh, Three Kumunus, three Orions, and stuff like that. Of course, I haven't built them, but I have opened them. I, I only have Shina. I have no other twins. That's uh, pretty sad. But yeah, pretty solid monster pool, in my opinion, in one year. It's it's a playable team. I, I can't do RTA. Uh, people have two good runes in there. And... I'm, I'm missing Tiana, Okeanos, uh, stuff like that, Vusa, Velachuel, Perna and stuff. Pretty much all the, all the basic stuff. I, I don't have Ganymede or anything like Mulong, etc, etc. And probably my room quality is also lacking. I, I think my Fengian is like a, is my best rune monster at, at this point. Other than that, I can't run uh, that great rune teams uh, in RTA. So, uh, what do I have in store? Just some random, random stuff here. Yeah. So, a summoner's war is, of course, a long, long, long game. And what I have achieved in one year needs pretty much 24-7 playing if you are not going to spend any money in the game. And even if you do, you need to play every day, you need to grind like a madman. And there has been days when I have grind for almost the whole day. When I'm at work, I, I'm running dungeon auto running it, not even looking at the game and when I get home I, I might continue it. And yeah, that's that's pretty much the game because you you can't expect to have six star legend runes if you are not farming at least three hundred gems a day. That's ten refills. So uh yeah that's that's about it. Um if we look at the Glory Towers, they are not that great level. That's the one thing that will need you to play over two years, I believe, to even be able to get uh, full Glory Towers. So I'm at Quadstone level 6, um, 5 for Ancient Sword, 
6 for Altar. I have level 8 Fallen Ancient and Sky Drive, which give you speed and crit damage. But uh, I'm not even near to be uh, the full full level on any of those. Um, at what comes uh, into the guild stuff, I have like uh, level three and one level two. These are kind of tricky because I want to spend my guild points on uh, on the pieces, all of my summoning pieces, because I I'm planning to get the max skill points out of every HEO uh, dungeon and the next one I believe is uh, Light Kung Fu Girl and I'm planning on to play the full uh, stages and do the all my summonings on each of those so I can make the 5 skill points, actually 10 skill points on the Kung Fu Girl and use those on my Lin to uh, to maximize the skill points so that's why I'm, I'm not kind of building any guild flags at, the, at this point so uh, yeah what else do I do I have yeah well at this point I basically have all the net fours I want, so I'm just building random stuff and waiting for new LD stuff or new Nat 5. And as we all know, the Nat 5s are not coming every day or even every week or even every month. It may take you like several months to summon a new one. So it's pretty much just rune grinding and waiting and waiting and waiting. And that's that's about it but yeah this is what you can expect if you play one year of summoner force and uh, if you are active player and if you have a little bit lucky um, and if you get some monsters that can complete you DA chart and, and normal those can pretty much help you to boost your account faster because you get the legendary scroll and the LD scroll from the last last uh, maps so yeah that's about it and as we can see this game is long requires much time and patience and stuff like that but thanks thanks for watching and see you later bye